by moving that into the Aqueous, we were able to combine multiple operations. The addition of the Aqueous machine has brought another level of productivity to KSM. The number one benefit for the Aqueous is uh, the lead time. KSM Industries is located in Germantown, Wisconsin with its 80 employees in this 140,000 square foot facility. My name is Dave Oxner. I'm the president of KSM Industries. KSM was started in 1971. We service a lot of different industries. In the early years, it was a lot of construction uh, related equipment. Today, it's primarily electrical enclosures. The vast majority of our customers are either in power control or power generation type businesses. We get into agricultural construction, environmental, defense related industries as well. We've maintained pretty good relationships through the years. Many of our accounts have been with us for 20, 30 years. KSM's goal is to be recognized as an outstanding supplier to our customer base by giving them the product they want when they want it. Working in the high mix, low volume area, that requires us to be very nimble and constantly changing our processes. Let's listen to Mr. Dave Oxner talk about evaluating processes and challenges on the shop floor. The process really started with some aging equipment. We had a turret laser here that was near the end of its life and we started to explore alternatives. A big challenge that we have here at KSM is rapid delivery. And to do the rapid delivery, we're stocking a lot of inventory. We have a number of products that ran through the shop historically. They may go first into a laser cell, then they may find themselves in a turret press to have some embossing performed on them. The part may then end up in a third operation where some tapping is. We know that for every hour we're laser cutting, we're spending almost another half hour pulling the product out of the nests. We also know that it may take an entire shift and we come in in the morning after it's been running all night. So that's an issue and a delay. In a fully automated blanking system, KSM found solutions to these challenges. Before we purchased the Aqueous, Amata came in and did some uh, cost comparisons for us on many jobs through their VPSS program. And uh, that study showed us, projected, about a 50% throughput savings on parts going through the Aqueous. With the addition of the Aqueous, we don't have to run nearly as much inventory ahead of time. We can eliminate a lot of those stocking locations. We can spend time making the parts that are due today rather than making inventory to support parts that might ship next week or the week after that. By moving that into the Aqueous, we were able to combine multiple operations into one machine and the throughput savings have been really remarkable that we're seeing. With the automation, parts are coming out of the sheet as each individual piece is cut and it's available to move downstream. So we're eliminating that non-value added time that we have in other operations. Our time studies are showing us that we were seeing between a 50 and a 55% savings in throughput savings in jobs that went through the machine alone. Once the automation was added to it, those same jobs were now seeing a 60 to 70% throughput savings of, of, of work. So the automation uh, was really a worthwhile investment for us. Here is what others at KSM are saying about their AKS solution. My name is Mark Serdan. I am a design and process engineer. The most important things the Aqueous have contributed to uh, the success we've had here at KSM is the tool cabinet that are auto loading. So that saves us reduction in setup time. And the other uh, aspect that has been a benefit is the parts picker and the TK automation, which unloads parts as well as loads the next sheet. 
it has streamlined our operations and has allowed us to reduce our setup times and reduce our overall throughput so that our time from order to time to ship to the customer has been greatly reduced. I'm Paul Schumacher, I'm a laser programmer, operator. We're running 11 gauge part, it's heavy part. Normally in the past we'd have to handle it multiple times and the Aqueous handle it once. Laser cutting, punching, tapping, done once. One handling process, then goes to the next process. With the company's focus always on the next step of improvement, here are some other actions happening. Earlier this year, KSM uh, joined the QRM Center out of the University of Wisconsin. We are implementing changes, process changes in our plant and adopting this quick response mentality here. We're going to be realigning all of our equipment in the facility to embrace quick response manufacturing. My ultimate goal is, is to have a process in place where we can receive orders by 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll have them engineered that afternoon. They'll run through the Aqueous that night and we'll be going into production the following morning. And, and that's really what our customers are looking for. The long range plan for KSM obviously is to continue to grow. I'm also interested in fiber optic lasers and I see one of those in our future along with uh, a material handling system that will be able to service both the fiber optic laser and this AQS. We went to Amada because Amada, in our view, gets it. They design their product for people like KSM Industries who are in that high mix, low volume industry. And they understand the issues that we go through. They're not afraid to ask us what we, what we are looking for. They listen to that and they respond to that. And I think the equipment manufactured shows that.